Hello and welcome back to episode 22 of Unknown to World Known Club 5. We're back today with Everton and it is time to try and turn around the Champions League tie against Bayern Munich. If you haven't seen the last episode, we are 2-0 down from the first leg. Just before we get into the episode, if you are enjoying the content, please do leave a like down below. Comment what you think the score is going to be in this game against Bayern Munich. Subscribe if you are enjoying the content. Of course, it's all greatly appreciated. Since you were last with us, it's been three wins on the board. 4-2 against Huddersfield, 2-0 against West Brom and 2-0 against Reading. In the FA Cup quarterfinal, we have drawn Aston Villa. However, before we get into the Bayern Munich game, we've got a Premier League game against Norwich. We've sat down in 19th place at the moment. We are sat up in second place. Chelsea have dropped points against Manchester United in the early kickoff. If we win, we will be top of the league. To try and ensure that, we've got Belgic in goal, Wagner, Bevis, Raul and Jimenez, Rice and Ravella in midfield, Talignani, Kosa and Morrow, and then Matchett up front we have rotated a little bit because our minds have got to be slightly on that Bayern Munich game because we really want to pick up the win in that it's going to be very tough that's but we've got the options on the bench here so that if we aren't winning we can send on some extra firepower Raul receives the ball from Belgic early on we're only four minutes into the game with our first highlight here as Kosa gets the ball now back to Rice and then forward to Raul Morrow Johansson no, that's Jimenez in space on the left. I'm too used to Johansson playing there. Matchit misses his header, but apparently got pushed by Rekic. If anything, pushing him might have pushed him a little bit closer to the ball. Nevertheless, it looks like we're going to get a penalty. We do indeed have a penalty very early on. And a chance to take an early lead. Raul Morrow going to step up. Can he put us 1-0 up early on? He doesn't. The... Keeper with a very good save. We do have a corner. Hopefully we can get a goal from the corner. Let's see if Raul Morrow can find an Everton man. He can. Bevis was there. He just couldn't quite get enough on it to get it at the goal. Throw in for Norwich here. He turns his man. Churn and door. Oh dear. Stro Strokins has put Norwich 1-0 up in less than 10 minutes. That was not part of the plan. Especially when we've had a penalty. We, we really need to be... I think quite a few times, actually, this Everton team does seem to miss penalties. And this defending, not good enough. Kosa with the ball on the edge of the area. Forced back to Bevis, though. Ravella to Talignani. Plays the ball through to Raul Moro. From a tight angle, the keeper makes a good save. We've got another corner. We're going to berate them while it's 1-0. Raul Moro... Is playing it short to Kosa. Back to Raul Morrow. Kosa sends the ball in. Bevis with the head of boots over the bar. Half time. And we're 1-0 down. This was not part of the plan. Bear in mind, Chelsea dropped points to Manchester United. We are dropping points to Norwich. There is a bit of a difference. This is not good enough. We're going to have to bring Match it off for Satriana. Mass with a free kick. Goes for goal and clips the bar. Very nearly Norwich finding a way to end up 2-0 up. Despite only having two shots really dangerous in our goal. We are really struggling to create chances at the moment. Rankin's going to come on in attacking midfield. And we're going to have to start just shooting on sight, I think, to try and get back into this. Free kick from deep here. Koval. Galbraith heads it on. Belgic with a very easy catch. And hopefully now we're going to see him play the long ball. Satriano, nod who are you nodding it to, though? Back with the Norwich defence. We've given the, that ball away just way too easily. And then Rekic to Matson Plays a long ball over the top. No one getting on the end of that except Belgium. Oh, what have you done? Mass collects the ball now. Switches play out to Koval on the right. Chance for a cross here. Sends it in. Malo oh, for goodness sake. Maloney's put Norwich 2-0 up. What has happened? We've won three games in a row in the meantime. And then we're 2 0 down to a team that are in a relegation battle. So much so that they're, they're not even, they're literally in the relegation zone. This is pathetic. Mass trying to get past his man here. 
Rankin doesn't manage to win the ball. Back to Mass, and then it's inside to Endor, and back to Rekic. You know, no, no problem, guys. Don't worry about the fact that he's got tons of space. Gets a shot off. Nearly finds the top corner. Why are we 2-0 down to Norwich? Laren's going to come on for Real Moro. I don't know how it's saying he's had a good game with his missed a penalty. 2-0 loss to Norwich. It's absolutely pathetic. We're throwing the water bottle. They're down and uninspired. They're demotivated. I don't care, guys. I'm demotivated by that performance. We are not turning this round against Bayern Munich with a performance like that. And the lineup for the game against Bayern Munich. We've got Belgic in goal. Lopez, Raul, Bevis and Johansson at the back. Bryson Laren in midfield. Talignani, Raul Moro, Franken behind Satriano up front. This is going to be a very tough game to see us turn it around. And maybe, maybe, we might look at other jobs if this goes tits up. Well, the first half that's not going to get us anywhere in the Champions League. We, we didn't have a highlight. We have our first highlight and it's Bayern Munich in possession. Rice has gone in one possession though. Talignani blazes it off to Satriano. There's a man come, come through the middle. No? Okay. Satri uh, Talignani, sorry, who's been tackled. And Alfonso Davis has picked himself up a red card. Raul Moro with a corner now. Can we take advantage of being a man up? We can, Raul. Uh, Raul? Bevis, with a, with a goal from the corner, puts us 1-0 up on the night. We are still 2-1 down on aggregate. However, they're down to 10 men. We've got one back. We're in with a fighting chance. Lubekio with a throw-in for Bayern Munich, but we quickly win the ball back. Rice plays it up the wing towards Raul Moro. He's not going to get to that one, though. It's then sent back towards us. Rice wins the header with ease. Talignani inside to Raul Moro. Out to Johansson on the left-hand side. Bursts into the space. He's been brought down by Zaniolo. That is a absolute stonewall penalty. Let's go and check who's going to be taking this penalty. Do we trust Satriano? We're going to move, we're going to move Declan Rice up there. Oh, hold on. I've swapped their positions. We're going to put Declan Rice on the penalty. Declan Rice on the... Declan Rice on the pen. Declan Rice on the penalty. <laughs> Come on, this, uh, there we go. Declan Rice on the penalty. This is a chance to make it two 0 on the night. Two two on aggregate. Declan Rice stepping up in a blue shirt of Everton. He's done this for Manchester City in the past. He does it for Everton right now. We have turned this tie around. It's 2-0 with 25 minutes to go. One more goal against the 10 men of Bayern Munich. And this will be a magical night on Merseyside. And Dodge with a, with a throw in now. I cannot get my set piece names right. And Dodge with a chance to go down the right. Switches it into the middle to Flores. Out to look Bakio chance for a cross here. And Flores loses possession. Raul to Laren. Raul Moro. Out to Talignani. Back to Lopez. Long ball over the top. Finds Satriano. Can he get past his man? Oh my goodness, what a goal. He didn't need to get past his man. He just strikes it from range. Off the bar. Into the back of the net. 3-0. The game has been turned on its head. Bayern Munich, don't know what's happened. Alfonso Davis, never mind the water bottle, he's going to be getting the full Alex Ferguson boot kicked at him. A highlight straight from kickoff, which is never a good thing. We've got Anasio playing it back to Harwood Bellis, of course, a player, former player from Inter Milan. Where did he be signing from? I'm fairly, fairly sure it was Manchester City. Belgic plays the long ball forward. Satriano heads it down to Franken. Through to Raul Moro, one on one. Oh my goodness, it's 4-0 on the night. It's 4-2 on aggregate. Alfonso Davis has caused Bayern Munich to go into absolute meltdown. Look at that, one long ball. Satriano nods it down to Franken through this gap. Raul Moro into the back of the net. Bayern Munich have capitulated. Raul Moro is going to come off for Nagel just because of the yellow card. Same reason for Rice coming off for Ozoma. Raul with a free kick just inside our own half. It's played back to him, then forward to Nagel. Inside to Larin. 
What can he do from here? Plays it out to Johansson inside to Vranken. Five. It's five. Bayern Munich have literally not gotten it. They don't know what's going on. It was all in control. Alfonso Davis went in, got himself sent off, and they just... It, it's like the whole team got sent off. This is ridiculous. Final change, Tabakaru can come on for Satriano. What a result. Where was this performance against Norwich, by the way? Have you ever seen a team collapse in 15 minutes like that? It was 2-0 on aggregate, 0-0 on the night in the 61st minute when Alfonso Davis got his second yellow card. By the 76th minute, 15 minutes later, they were 5-0 down on the night. That's insane. They just absolutely fell apart. You love to see it. We are through to the quarterfinal. And after that phenomenal performance, we will be back with the Champions League quarterfinal second leg, where hopefully, let's have a quick look at who's going into the second leg as it stands. So we've got Milan, Atletico, Real Madrid, probably Arsenal, probably Manchester United, probably PSG. And I expect him to have turned that round against Marseille. So it's about to get very tough in the next round. Let me know how far you think we can go. Let me know if you've ever seen a team fall apart like Bayern Munich did right there. I can't think of many in that short a space of time. Subscribe if you are enjoying the content. And thank you very much for watching.